it's hard to grow up. If a teenager has extra problems, emotional or social, it's even harder. Kids like this, not wanted by any other group or anyone else much, tend to hang out together. Yes. Her name's Carolyn Ames. She's a swell kid. Especially when you compare with some of the weird characters in this place. Don't they have to go over, huh? Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Why not? Rowdy kids. Troubled kids headed for trouble. Still a couple of years from real crime. That is leading our class play. Oh, yes. I looked in on it so yesterday. We're all in on it in one way or another. But with destruction and violence, their only outlet. They're on their way to it. Unless their outlook can be changed. In our city, many men and women are dedicated to changing that outlook. Some give their time and their money to support the work of many organizations and their skilled professional workers. Like Bud Williams, group work specialist with years of intensive training and experience. The schools give him names of potentially delinquent boys. His job is to help these youngsters satisfy their teenage need to belong, to get rid of some of their resentment against the world and find their place in it. Well, what do you do first? You get acquainted with them. And that's no cinch. Often it takes a lot of time, a lot of stops at their hangout. These kids haven't had much reason to trust grown-ups. Maybe after weeks of trying, you finally make some progress. The kids show that they notice you. And they've got their own ways to let you know that. Oh, whoa, geez. Excuse oh, me, please. I've got the orders for my table. Uh, just help me out during rush hour, Bob. Gee, thanks a lot, Chick. That's swelling. OK, Bob. You don't want to fail, these kids. You've got to prove that you're one grown-up they can trust. That you mean it when you say to them, I like you. Though I don't always like what you do. Get them to believe that, and maybe some of the anger will go out of them. The dangerous, seething hostility. Nothing like being Miss Popularity. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Meow, meow. Okay, Ellie. They do keep that date the following Friday, and they give the clubhouse the once over. At first, they're plenty wary, looking for a joker in the setup. If they like anything here, they'll never admit it. Oh, Phil, could you have it ready by next week and bring it over to my house? I guess so. Some of the gang's coming over Thursday night, and we could have a lot of fun with it. You will come, won't you? And you wait, not pushing. And you know there's one thing here they might go for. started a club. But that doesn't mean that everything is sweetness and light. Personally, I think that something like this is better for carving. The knife. Always the knife. A poor substitute for understanding, for strength, for love. That's Jerry's equalizer, Mr. Phillips. Perhaps you can help me with a problem. I'd like your advice, Jim. My advice? Yes, I've got quite a serious problem. That day on the playground, what was it Bud told him? Pick out the most popular boys and girls in school and keep an eye on them. Try to figure out why people like them. Not that you'll ever be just like any of them, but you might learn something. Well, see you there. Jerry and his family weren't the only ones helped that day. All the boys had been affected. And you knew that there was hope in the future.